hair guys so you're just gonna have to ignore <laughs> this i've got what i think is a chest infection so i'm not feeling tipped up but anyway we roll with it we go with it yesterday was the 8th of october and i went to vlog on if you saw my instagram you would have seen it there's a highlight on there it was the best day i've got so so many photos and videos and there's gonna be another blog which if i time it correctly will be up the week before this one so if it is i will leave a little card thing up there but this is a video of everything i got and it's a lot it's a lot so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the three items i won on the raffle so they were a pound ticket i bought too many tickets no, i bought 30 pounds worth of tickets it goes to charity um and i got three items some people were getting literally like five ten items it was insane like you got your name called and then you went up to this array of toys that you'll see in my video and pick what you wanted to pick like i was going to try and vlog me picking something but i was so conscious of somebody else taking what i wanted that i just didn't so i've got a few clips in the blog on vlog anyway yeah So I got this for Ezzy, um, part of the Jurassic World one. You can pull it, it's got like a, a pull along string, I suppose you want to call it. But I really liked the stacking element because that's one of his favourite things to do, that and sort. And it's got a ratty tail. So we got this for, oh my god I've just realised if you shake the baby dinosaur at the top, you can hear them growl. Oh my god. No, I can't in the packaging. But yeah, this we put aside for as for Christmas. I got this one for someone for Christmas. And I think they're going to love it. Somebody who's obsessed with Aquabeads and somebody who's also obsessed with Roblox. So they kind of go hand in hand. And then the last one that I got is this one. I saw this, oh, the windows are reflecting, I saw this on the stand and I was talking to the lady about it and it's brilliant. It comes with a rocking base and then you've got to try and balance it out. Obviously it's a bit young, no, Ezzy is a bit young for it at the minute, but I thought he might just like the idea of the fact that you put it on and they tumble and they move. But they're really, really good quality pieces and it just felt nice. So yeah. That we put aside for Christmas again for this. So that is my three raffle prizes. I went on a crane claw machine as well and I won a travel flask. And then they still had some left, so they gave me a lovely notebook and pen as well. So, right, they are from my hosting, my website hosting, which is 34sp.com i don't think you can see it on there if you want to know more check out the description there's a link for you to go over there you get six months free possibly with that link i will check can't remember but either way if you recommend somebody i think you get something um so i will leave a recommendation link in the description really good hosting right everything else in this video up to when i tell you something different is gifted to us for a review so at some point <laughs> it's an awful lot so at some point you will see a review of it either on our blog instagram or a mixture of the two so i'm going to start with the cutest item first or i think it's the cutest item how stinking cute their name is sugar and they are part of the pop art soft collections this was on the Cats vs Pickles stall. It says, Sugar, what happens when you combine fantastic pop art designs with super soft and squishy plus, squishy, plush, pop art soft. But yeah, it was on the Cats vs Pickles stand and he got, an, or she, I'm not sure, 
they got an awful lot of attention all day and the guy was lovely enough to give me one for review so this will be going up on instagram and on the blog at some point and talking of cats versus pickles how cute is this one it's called linda is it linda yeah proud member of the park watch keeps detailed account of all suspicious activities has police on speed dial apparently it's a french poodle it's part of the dogs versus squirrels range and look little binoculars little fluffy tail super super cute i'm going to keep this side for ethan either for his birthday or christmas i'm not sure ethan if you're watching this stop <laughs> you're going to ruin half your christmas presents but yeah that's super cute it's one of the chonk ranges because it's bigger the other ones are about half the size so thank you to the lovely people at the cats versus pickles stand that i spoke to yesterday and I'm trying to think what else to go on to next honestly some of the stuff i was given is amazing but there's just so much other stuff so let's go for these i've got one each for ava and ethan for christmas yeah among us mystery captures we've already reviewed these so head over to the blog i'll try and put a link down here to go to the post but we reviewed these a couple months ago and they're awesome so they're gonna be super happy with those i really hope you either get the rare one or the glow in the dark one i think they're pretty cool we've got if i get it right i think we've got the cheese one and the red devil one already maybe I really like the green one as well. But yeah, so that's something different for them. So thank you to the gentleman at the store for these. I'm pretty sure you weren't meant to be giving them away, but we really appreciate it. So thank you, Cap Toys. All the businesses that I'm mentioning will be in the description. So I will leave all the links down below for where you can get items and where the business, well, what the businesses are Obviously, you might not be able to buy from them direct, but their websites should direct you to where you can buy them. To be honest, most of them you can search on Amazon and find, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, then we got these, which are seriously awesome. And they are a self-heating face mask. So I'm sure so many of you have seen it, space masks, um, which is basically the same thing. And I'm pretty sure she's the original person of it. So apologies that I've gone elsewhere, but these were given to me free. But yeah, they're called Elf Elf Eyes. And they're self-heating, you put them on, they're meant to relax you so you can sleep better. They were part of a deal with Sensory Retreats and Elfland, I want to say it is. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself at the bottom. But yeah, that was very, very cute. And they had a really cute Christmas kind of land to do with a book and Christmas Eve traditions and helping you sleep better. Um, yeah, I don't know if we will work with them in the future. If I'm lucky enough, maybe we will. But for now, we will just enjoy these. So thank you. We've actually got enough for, well, all the kids if they want one. If not, just Ethan, Ava, Finn, me and Nick. But yeah. So thank you. Oh, I'm getting dead legs. We <laughs> got another fart ninja. Ethan loves them. So I managed to ask the lady if we could get another one. This will be kept for his birthday because I want to surprise him, basically. So thank you to the lady at the stand for that. I can't think of the like parent company name at the minute and it's actually not on the packaging, I don't think. Oh, there it goes, Funrise. So thank you so much, Funrise. We got these, which I think are super, super, super cute. I'm going to say this business wrong. I know I am. <laughs> Kit Kitterland, Kitterland, maybe. Um, yeah, these are me put aside for Ez for pretty much when he's older. But they're again like a matching, a matching memory game. But yeah they're just really cute to be honest they will just be cute for trying to teach him animals if i can put the lid back on it's part of the kitterland brand but it also said kidoki 
I think. They had loads of these little tins. They were super cute. They all had different games in them. This one was kind of the most age appropriate for Ayers. And also from that stand, we got some stickers. And we got this for Ayers for Christmas. So he's actually sorted. <laughs> this is one of the kind of side off brands that the lady at the store does. But yeah, this is made from bioplastic. It's made from sugar cane and it's from Dan Toy for the fun of it. Bioplastic made from sugar cane, 90% bio based, 100% recyclable, 100% renewable raw material, residual, residual product from sugar cane production. Yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I've seen a lot of these, um, so we're going to put up a review of this. And yeah, I just thought it was cute. Like, even opens at the back. But yeah, thank you to the lady at the store who helped me basically complete Christmas and birthday lists by giving us bits to review. So keep an eye out on the blog for that review. I've literally got stuff around me everywhere. And then we got from Button and Squirt this cute colouring book for sharing her on our Instagram page. It's the Amazing Animals Inside and Out colouring book. And I was trying to show Nick earlier. You've got the koala and then you've got the skeleton. I just think it's so cool how she's really done her research. Like this is a tailed porcupine. I can't say the first word. Like it's so detailed. I don't think any kid actually would be able to do it really well without clearing out the lines. I don't think I'm going to be able to. But this one's like sperm whale. Look at that. And then it's just awesome. It blows my mind. Yeah, she's got all these cute cards as well. And not only does it have a cute drawing on the front, it's got facts about the animals as well. If you want to check her out, it is buttonandsquirt.co.uk. As I said, it'll be in the box below anyway. But yeah, she had a really, really cute axolotl necklace on. And so she gave me the postcard with it on as well. She does jewellery, she does cards, she does like flashcards, learning cards, colouring books. Yeah, pretty much a bit of everything. She's a really, really lovely lady. So pop over and say hello to her. We got some chocolates from Chock on Chock. Ava had some last night, not from this pack, but from another one we got. As she said, it was amazing. I did try some when I was there and it was really good. Really good. Apparently they're made in Somerset. Yeah. Just cute. Make a nice gift for somebody. They had like a Xbox PlayStation controller. They had like a little Christmas cow. They had loads of different ones. Um, but yeah, I think these are a mixture of dark and white chocolate. Yeah, super cute. Ava gave them a 10 out of 10, so they must be good. Where should I go to next? We've got Tactic. Next, this is just a little goodie bag we got from Tactic. We've got some party rings, which if I'd known were in there, I would have eaten them yesterday. Um, a little card. And then we've got Pop Culture of the World game. Take a trip around the world and learn about fascinating culture. 12 years plus, two players. It takes over 10 minutes, apparently. Uh, 50 cards, an answering and scoring pad, a pencil and the rules. So check out our blog for a review on that very soon. I'm actually interested to try and do this because I'm not very good at trivia things. But I reckon Nick will be good at it. So it might get very competitive. <laughs> so thank you Tactic for those bits. And then I spoke to a gentleman at a store who... They kind of are the umbrella for lots of different board company, uh, board game companies. And we were playing one called The Fuzzies, but he didn't have any of those left. And I happened to spot this and I asked very nicely and very cheekily if I could have a copy because I really, really want to play with the kids. So we've got Cards Against Maturity. Mm, I can't say it. Maturity. Card, uh, so not even Cards, it's Kids Against Maturity. Illustrated set, a family game, a family fun party game where being the worst is the best. Yeah, so it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's Superman skid marks, a pinata full of baked beans, 
or pooped spelt backwards. So yeah, anyway, it's ages 10 plus, playtime 30 to 90 minutes, four players plus. There are lots of poopy jokes in the blue box. Simply remove any cards deemed offensive to you or your precious little angel. Not recommended for one dimensional, hypersensitive hopper parents. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to play that with the kids. And maybe at Christmas, we'll get a game with all of us, which will be brilliant. Might even get my parents involved. There's 600 hilariously illustrated cards inside. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. So there will be a lot of coverage on this. I might even try and film us playing it um, for a YouTube video. It might appear in Vlogmas, maybe. But I haven't yet decided. Thank you so much. This was distributed by Toy Monster International Limited um, and then imported by VR Distribution. I will find a shop link and leave it in the description. Right, I know I've just done like 15 minutes of basically like telling you all this stuff and I know we're in a financial like situation at the minute. I understand, but this is my job. I can't not show you. So I apologize and I understand if you've got this far in the video and you really don't want to watch anymore. But if you do want to stick with me, then I'm grateful. Thank you. But I've got these to show you now. So he asked if we'd heard of the brand and I was like, no. And then soon realized I had. Got a glue stick, got some erasers, got a poly pocket. What else have we got? I haven't actually looked in this bag yet. Got a pen, got a leaflet a leaflet a leaflet got a little poly pocket which is quite cute for cards i might put business cards in that actually got a large eraser and a zinc sharpener apparently a, another pen a purple one this time a rubber eraser and a canister flip pencil sharpener so that is pretty good for me i don't mind that but yeah he was telling us all about how obviously we have heard of the brands and how this brand is kind of three brands so they are the original company for these as well he loved telling us about the business he was so proud of himself and proud of the company he is somebody that you want on your team the gentleman i didn't catch his name but if you're business happens to watch this and you know who I'm talking about then he deserves a raise because he was a credit to you guys yesterday he loved the business and everything it stood for and I'm literally having everything fall on me so I have got this to show you I've got a whole kind of geo mag set these are all going to be reviewed over on the blog by Ethan and I or Ezra and I because there's some sets for him um over the next kind of coming weeks so keep an eye out obviously We've previously reviewed Geomag. We love Geomag. And yeah, we've got this one, which is E-Motion, build your own spinner. Oh, I broke the box, or I ripped the box. Um, ages five to 99, 32 pieces. And as I've noticed a lot of the sets, they come in like a little storage box, so you don't lose the magnets. Yeah, I think this is awesome. I can't wait to do it. I'm really competitive with things like this. I love to try and build them. We've got a glow version. Oh god, this is so heavy. A glow version, which is a natural glow in the dark magnetic rods, ages 3 to 99, 60 pieces. Again, has a storage box in it. And the same kit, but in glitter. So we've got one for Ethan and one for Ava. She's downstairs, so I don't want her to hear me. They'll be put aside for Christmas. So I have a feeling Christmas Day is going to be Geomag, Geo Mag, mad, because they're all going to want to build it. And then for Ez, it says 3+, plus, I know, but these are for Ez. We got this one, which is to do with sums. Obviously, I don't expect him to do the sums, but he loves the blocks. So what I'm going to do is just keep the magnets for now and just give him the cubes. Again, these are for review, so there will be at some point a blog on them. And this one again is three plus, but I'm going to keep the magnets for now. 
he actually really loves magnets on the fridge. So as long as he doesn't eat them, I think he'll actually be okay with them. But we will see. But I don't know how small they are. We've got a word one. So connect the magic, uh, some magnetic cubes, add the magic clips, which looks like they're just magnets, and then build words. So he might actually be okay with them. He loves anything magnetic. It's ridiculous. Like the amount of magnets in our fridge because he loves playing with them is crazy. But yeah, this was all our freebies. I've actually got the goodie bags to show you as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy this lot up so it's not digging into my back. And then I will show you the goodie bags. I've got a goodie bag and a VIP bag. So I will show you what's in those in a minute. So bear with me. Okay. <laughs> so I've, I've half sorted it out. I just needed <laughs> to make some more space because this is the VIP bag. You know, quite a normal sized goodie bag. So we'll go to that one first. I got this one because I bought my ticket. Laura released a load of free tickets and you had to pay extra for the goodie bag and extra for lunch. Whereas I bought the original ticket. So this was kind of like a thank you for sticking with her, I suppose. The conference one is now finished. She just is going to do normal blog on. And it's going to kind of be redone, re-sparked. I don't know how to phrase it, but it's still around they're still going to do more so yeah make sure you check out blog on if you're in this kind of world like i am because obviously all of this is to review it's got me work so yeah it's brilliant i love blog on anyway yeah this oh my god the mum who lost her um, yeah this is actually a signed copy awesome i met him at the event and I got a photo with him because I'm a sad up. He did a talk and it was brilliant. But yeah, oh, I'm really excited to read this. I'm, yeah, I'm excited to read this. We got, oh, <laughs> I got a notebook as well. So I've got two. Um, this one I've actually started already using. So I'll save this one for when that one's full. Ooh. Fancy pen and it says blog on. I don't think I can even show it to the camera. How do I open it? Oh, yeah, fancy blog on pen that can go with my notebook and I can't get the lid back on. Oh, what have I done? Laura, why did you have to make such something so complicated? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a labyrinth wooden maze pot holes. Oh, it's one of these. Ethan loves these. I can't stand them. I get frustrated with them. Yeah, one of those from IQ Busters. Oh, cute little chase. Random, but cute little chase from Paw Patrol. I'm sure I can find somebody in our family that is young enough for that. And some kinetic sand. Ava is going to lose her mind. She loves these. So I'll put that aside for Christmas as well. Yeah. And of course, a little cute tote bag. So right, this is the normal size, yeah? <laughs> this is the goodie bag that I got. Like, it's insane. I haven't actually looked in this yet. So... <laughs> This is going to be a surprise for me and for you. So let's go for it. I've got, ooh, a Peppa Pig advent calendar. It's, it's October, when's this one out? Oh, August 2023. I've got one oh, Minions calendar for next year. That's fine, I'll use that, that's good. Oh, I saw this at the show and I loved it. A bubble gun, like um, it looks like a fan as such. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that because yeah, you dip it in the bubble mixture and then it blows them right out. What on earth is this? Heroes in the City. It's a YouTube sensation, apparently. Never heard of it. 
We have a cute little set. I've actually never heard of it. Dickiestoys.com. Thank you. I've not heard of the show, but I'm sure it's good. Drumstick Squishies Raspberry Room Spray. I thought this was going to be dry shampoo. smells so good oh that smells so good that's not gonna last long i'm sure uh, got impulse soul by melina sophie shower gel oh that smells nice i like that i thought impulse did sprays but okay the sense of Blueberries, jasmine, and orchids. Hmm. Okay, we got Dr. Paul Paul Overnight Lip Mask. I've heard really good things about this brand, but I've never actually used it. Got oh some Jim Jams Hazelnut Chocolate Spread. Got something squishy. Oh, drumstick mallows. Oh. <laughs> that face isn't because I'm ungrateful it's just I hate slime it's Simply Kids which we've done work with before and it's a brilliant brand I just can't stand slime I I'm sure one of the kids will enjoy that a love Diana pocket watch D animals mystery supplies plush I think we want, oh, I don't know, maybe Poppy Panda or Coco Kitty Corn. I don't know. I've not heard of them. Is it a YouTube thing? Is it a TV show? I don't know. I know a girl who's going to love this. This is literally going to be kept stuff for either Christmas or a birthday. Oh, it's a paint by colour, like paint by number. She loves a miraculous ladybug. Like, seriously loves it. Wow. That's brilliant. Alright, we've got... Ooh. Ethos. Viva le... Refill Illusion. Ooh, I wonder what this is. I'm going to have a great opening this now, aren't I? It smells amazing. It's, oh, I don't want to rip it. Essential oils. Oh, I think it's a, it's a kit. Your waterless shower gel. So you pour the body wash into a measuring jug and you add the other bits to it. And then you hit the shower. So it's like a three part set. It smells really nice. I wonder what's in it. Rosemary, bergamot, and some other bits, I think. Hmm. We might have to look into that. Right. Yeah, we've got some of that. What's next in my lucky dip bag? Oh. Old Charles Farm Body Lotion Coconut. Some Minions Very Berry Chew Bars. My kids are going to be so hyped up by the end of this. <laughs> Some flour. No wonder it was so heavy. Premium bread mix. Six seed. I've never made bread, but I want to try. So that's probably actually a good thing. I'm trying to see what you need. <laughs> I might try it. Maybe I should try it for a video. Um, antibacterial slime we've actually reviewed this before as well this is brilliant um, the kids one actually went a bit hard because it's only meant to be open for so long so that's probably a good idea that they've got another one crazy Aaron's mini thinking putty daydream never heard of this hmm. it's worth a try I'm sure one of the kids will like it something's fallen in my lap a body oil coconut as well from Child's Farm. What else? Oh, Ooh. cats versus pickle. K 
Kittens vs Gherkins. Surprise plush toys, two cats or pickles. And it includes a baby blanket. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have to open that. The kids aren't having that. Sorry kids, I'm gonna open that. Got a Spontex microfiber window cloth. I've actually seen these all over Instagram, weirdly. So maybe it's good. And a shaken udder chocolate lush made with belgian chocolate milkshake should this been in the fridge oh no best served chilled once opened refrigerate hmm, fair enough ethan will like that i don't drink milk but ethan will like it what else oh another one um a still pink grapefruit drink A Robinson's real fruit. Oh, it's jelly. I thought it was juice. Yeah, a apple and blackcurrant jelly. One of the kids can have that in their lunchbox, I'm sure. Oh, and another one. What else? Oh, two paint sticks. How weird. Um, <laughs> we got orange and white. Orange is Ethan's favourite colour. How odd's that? Um, from Paint Pop Paint Sticks. We've recently done an ad and a giveaway with them over on the um, blog. I was going to say over on but Instagram. Over on blog. No. Over on our blog and our Instagram page. We did something with them. So check that out if you want a full review. Ooh, I picked up two things. I was literally looking at these over um, at the blog on event. I was cooing over them because I said I really want to try them. It's a card kit from Craft Buddy. <gasps> the kids aren't having this either. I want to try it. I don't know who I'm going to make it for, but I'm going to make it for someone. <gasps> and then Play Foam, the Everlasting Squish. Oh, it's a glow in the dark one. Ethan loved this at Blog on Kids. So I think I'll probably put this aside. Maybe his birthday. But I don't know. I'll see. I'll see if he spots it first. Oh, and another one. That's not the same one, is it? Oh, that might be the same one that's fallen back in my bag. I'm not sure. What else? It must have been the same one that fell in my bag. I've got another one. Vanilla. So I'm sure one of the kids will drink it. Oh, we, just, we reviewed one of these and Ava really liked it. I might do a giveaway for this. Would anyone want me to do a giveaway for it? Um, check out Instagram, maybe, if I do do it. Keep an eye on there for maybe a giveaway of a few of these bits because we really don't need everything. So I want to share the love a little bit. What's this? Ooh, a Yankee Candle. Christmas Eve Cocoa. It smells quite nice yeah i don't really like candles now with a baby in the house but it smells nice oh more action heroes i might also do a giveaway for these as well we did a review on these not long ago and we absolutely loved them they are the toy this christmas or one of the toys this christmas so yeah keep an eye out on instagram i think i might be doing a few giveaways Um, some adult products, a strawberry peeler, <gasps> I know somebody who's going to love this, um, I think this must be new, I've not seen these, 138 to collect, it contains two figures, you can get a painted figure, a metallic figure and a glow in the dark figure, so from find the different crewmates and imposters. Hmm, I think that will be kept for his birthday. E motion, build your own spinner. Oh, it's a different one. Ooh, it's really heavy actually. Interesting, 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 interesting. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Another gym jam. A. I um, oh, my brain's gone to sleep. 
but it's from Fantastic Beasts, like a Niffler. Oh, well, that's so cute. You're mine. You're staying with me. Anyone got a suggestion of a name for this little dude? I want to go with Ginger, but I don't think that's very creative of me. <laughs> what else? And we've got a Blistex Lip Infusions Hydration and a free sample of disposable gloves. Ethan gets really dry lips in the winter, which I'm sure he'll love me sharing with you. Uh, but yeah, they will be really handy for him. I was just playing the game of literally put my hand in and grab something and I was like, what on earth is that? It feels like a dish sponge. It's that, it's a scourer. Spontex, I will obviously send Laura a load of stuff. Thank you, always grateful, always helpful. Ooh, we've got another one. Oh, one for each of the kids, that's brilliant. Yeah, they really liked this from Blog on Kids. It feels really nice. So, I'm not going to blame them. Um, we got some more gloves. Show your emotions. Um, oh, okay. They're um, emojis that go on your shoelaces. That's quite cool. Is there anything else in here? No, there isn't. That is it. This is literally like the biggest bag in the world. It's like one of those Ikea bags. Right, that is it. That was an amazing giddy bag though. Like, thank you so much, Blog On, for having me, for gifting me all this awesome stuff. And yeah, I can't wait to get writing, playing with it, gifting it out to people, including the kids. But yeah, Christmas, I think they're going to have to wait. <laughs> I can't give all of this to them now. This will just blow their little minds. But yeah. If you guys want to know more about Blog On, then pop over to Instagram or pop over to their website or just drop me a message and I will give you a bit more information. But yeah, make sure you see, go follow us on Instagram and all our other social media. Subscribe, like, share, comment and hit the bell. I can't remember the last time I said that. But yeah, I have got to go find homes for all of this before Ethan comes home and raids it all. But I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.